Hey team 101 in this video we will be analyzing and forecasting for the gold XAUUSD and crude oil for the 8 till 9 June so let's begin here in the gold on an 4 hourly chart we can spot an symmetrical triangle pattern being formed here is the support of that some around here and here is the resistance for that here we go thus thus this scenario isn't crucial whether it's in break or make or break if the gold break downwards thus a sale position can be created within take profit of some around 1668 however if we see that the gold does not break below the trend line rather it break above the resistance trend line which is this thus a long position can be created within take profit first take profit would be some around 1720 and the second take profit would be some around 1740 moreover going on in one hourly chart here we can spot an descending channel in the gold which give us a clear clear picture where a position should be created let me draw that also somewhere around yeah that's great and the channel would be somewhere around here from here let me draw that in and zone so it's more clear and prominent and we do not got any fake breakouts from here until here here on one early chart we have drawn our descending channel here we can see that the market has respected the descending channel as the market has re respected the resistance then taken the support again tested the resistance then again tested the support on the Friday after the economic event was released. Now we have seen a bullish move towards the target which is some around 1698. Now what I am expecting for the gold is that I am neutral. We'll wait and see for the gold that whether the market breaks whether market break this crucial zone upwards or the market retest uh, uh, test this zone and retest this support zone thus here i will be looking for any economic event if it would be supporting my would which would be supporting my analysis so we'll see the any economic events such as we have recently experienced the reopening of us economy thus we can expect that the market could just test this zone and will retest this support thus what i am more into that the i am bearish on the gold i have taken my long sum around here which was uh, 1674 as also told in my friday forecast thus i will close my long some around 17 17 100 till 1698 thus i will take a short position some around here we then take profit of here and a stop loss just placed above here thus this trade will give an risk to reward of one ratio six however if we if i hit my stop loss and the market didn't retest the support zone rather the market i break through this uh, resistance zone thus will take a long position in order to cover my losses within first take profit would be placed some around 1720 and the second take profit would of mine would be placed some around 1730 and the final take profit would be some around 17 uh, 17.45 thus the stop loss would be just placed below the resistance line this trade will give an risk to reward of 1 ratio 1 the second TP will give an risk to reward of 1 ratio 
2.8 and the third TP will give an risk to reward of 1 ratio 4. Do remember to do use the trailing stop loss. So in, in some reward a trader should do on Monday and Tuesday or on 8 and 9 June is that I am bearish for the gold and what I am expecting for the gold is to test this resistance zone and retest this support. However, if we see a breakthrough this resistance zone thus a long position can be created in order to profit from the market. Now moving on crude oil USD VTI here we can draw an support trend line let me draw that. What we we are bullish on the gold due to the OPEC meeting in which they have decided to extend the cut in the production of the oil in order to boost the oil prices which was agreed in April for 9.7 million cut in the production of the uh, 9.7 million barrel cut in the production of oil and that production has been continued by the OPEC in the meeting which was recently held and it's the third month the meeting had been agreed on cutting the oil prices that's what I am expecting or we have seen from here from the May is that we have seen a long bull run for the crude oil and what I am expecting for now is that a test towards this support trend line and will go for a long position somewhere around here this support trend line and we then take profit my first take profit would be the resistance let me draw that also let me draw that so it's more clear so my first take profit would be this resistance then my second take profit would be somewhere around here thus we are bullish on the crude oil and will go for a long position on the test here here we will go for a long position on the test with the first take profit and a stop loss just placed below the support trend line let me draw that in a zone from here till here thus we will go for a long position somewhere around here within a stop loss of 37.50 and within first take profit would be 41.17 and our second take profit would be the second resistance which is somewhere around 43.40 the first trade will give an risk to reward of 1 ratio 1 1 ratio 1.7 and the second trade will give an risk to reward of 1 ratio 1.3 that's great and risk to reward Thus, in the summary what a trader should do is that I will wait for taking a long position some around this area after the test if I do not experience or we do not have a test, test over the trend line or the support trend line will not take a long position. However, if any fundamental news is which would be against our prediction for the crude oil and the crude oil hit our, T our uh, stop loss thus we will take a revenge trade with a stop loss just placed above the support line and the first take, take profit would be around here around 38.65 and the second take profit for our sale would be somewhere around 31.33 However, keep in mind this will be only in end scenario if we see a break through this support trend line which I have drawn on an 4 hourly or an 1 daily chart. However, I do not experience a bearish move in the crude oil. However, I am more likely what I believe is that we can experience a bullish move in the crude oil. So for the gold, we are bearish after the gold hit the target 1700 and the for the crude oil we will go for a long position or we are bullish on the crude oil with the entry trigger would be area some around 39 and the, the TP and the uh, take profit first and second take profit are shown and the stop loss are also shown.
Thanks for watching. If you haven't watched my weekly forecast, the link would be in the description or in the end screen. Do watch that. If you like my analysis, do like, share, and comment below, and do consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.